Let's say we had an application that needed to associate two different types of data. Here is an example with strings and numbers. In this example, the letter A, stored as a string, is associated with the number 0, the letter B with 100, C with 200, all the way down to Z with 2500. How might we store this in a Java program? Well, one thing we could do is use parallel arrays. Here, the gold colored array stores the strings while the purple colored array stores the numbers. We can then use a single index variable to index into both arrays. For example, if the index happens to be 2, we would index C in the gold array and the corresponding value of 200 in the purple array. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using such a parallel array architecture? Let's see what happens, for example, if one of the data items becomes corrupted in one of the arrays. Here, in the second array that stores the numbers, we've accidentally duplicated the number 100, which is only supposed to belong to B, but in this example also has somehow been set up for C. Not only does this corrupt the data point for C, but it also corrupts all the data points for all the members that follow C. Likewise, if we accidentally omit one of the numbers, here the number 100 has been omitted. Once again, not only is the letter B data point corrupted, but all the following members of the list are once again wrong. Now imagine if we had an application which, instead of having 26 rows, had 10,000 rows. Do you think it would be a good idea to have such a structure? The problem with parallel arrays is that they do not scale. A corrupt data item can create lots of problems down the road for all the following elements. So instead of using parallel arrays, what might be a better approach? In the previous video, we introduced Java standard pair class, and this would be an excellent option to use to avoid the parallel array structure. Here we've shown a piece of an array that can be constructed using this pair class. Note that for each pair object we create, we store the two elements A and the number 0 side by side and then insert them into the array. When we print element 1, for example, we see that the letter B and the number 100 are printed. By using the pair class, we can avoid using parallel array architectures. This allows for much better scaling as the corruption of one data item does not filter into others. We have shown that the lack of scalability makes parallel arrays a weak data structure. So why do we use them? The answer is, for the beginning programmer, they're extremely simple. But when we build applications for the real world, for which the data sets might be quite large, we want to avoid parallel arrays and use a grouping method instead. Java standard pair class provides this grouping with minimal cost.